everyone and welcome to another indie game. This time I'm playing The Librarian, a game actually made by the same person who made Midnight Scenes, which I played on the channel a few months ago and really enjoy. If you can't remember that, Midnight Scenes was, much like this game, a pixelated 2D side-scroller that kind of resembled a Twilight Zone episode. And yeah, for that reason I really enjoyed it, and for that reason I have high hopes for this one. I don't think this is going to be precisely the same, it's got the same kind of look. The screenshots look great, but uh, yeah, I don't think this is a, a horror game as such. Either way, if you want to try this out, I'll leave the link down below in the description, and you can download this for free, alright? Hope you enjoy it, let's play The Librarian. Seems to have the same sort of style. And here we are. So what is it? A uh, point and click, it looks like. Okay, well, let's just have a little look. We've got a candle here. Yeah, turn the lights back on. An agent? <laughs> okay, hello. It's an owl. What have you got there? Right, something is wrong in the library. Written in blood. All right, great. How the hell does the owl know? Who sent the owl? I have no idea. Uh, any clues on you? Okay. You sort of disintegrated into a, a library key. Fine, fine. <laughs> okay, I guess we're uh, we're going to the library then, aren't we? Right, just want to make sure I'm not missing anything on the way. Ah, uh, looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it, it sort of looks like a 2.5D kind of game, because the... You can see how the room is sort of wrapped around the character, and she's moving in a 2D space. That's cool. Anyway, yeah, let's go downstairs. Or well, down the ladder, it looked like. Yeah, okay. Um, no, let's see. Oh, something up here. Oh, a wine decanter, alright. Brilliant, okay. Don't want to take any books with me. We have a- we've got a wardrobe. Alright, I probably do want to get changed. It's, right, oh, I'm- I'm the librarian? I guess that makes sense. What's this? A, a spirit dagger. Right. Is that a uh, standard issue for librarians? <laughs> That's a pretty efficient way of getting dressed. Nice. Uh, right. Are we ready to go? Got my dagger, got my decanter, got the key. That's the most important thing. Let's, let's go outside and let's see if we can find this library. Yeah, a lot of the pixel art does look really, really nice. Cool. We got here. Can't, can't seem to move. What's this? Oh! I. Alright. You just. <laughs> just drinking some water, are you? Okay, fair enough. Uh, weird thing, whatever it is. <laughs> just a bit of a shrug of the shoulders. Yeah, um. Got a spirit dagger. That's probably not right. What about. Yeah, you're drinking from the puddle. Can I use the wine decanter? It, yeah, there you go. Let's see, you're just drink, are you drinking wine now? <laughs> it's getting pissed. Brilliant. Wow. <laughs> if it can knock that thing out, wow, what the hell can it do to humans? Anyway, can I go past now? Yeah, looks like it. Look at that tree. Are they skulls there? I think so. Anyway, yeah, onto Main Street. This is pretty cool. Bones down there? What the hell happened? Oh, here we go. We found the library, at least. Right, door lock. Well, I've got the key, so... There you go. What happened there? Did... This, it just broke. God damn. Wait, did I unlock it before it broke, or...? No, nothing. Alright. What was this? Is that a hole? That was a bush, actually. We have a broken window here, though. Can I use that? The answer is yes, okay. Um, yeah, it certainly seems more detailed than Midnight Scenes. More colourful. What have we got here? Alright, I'm not seeing a lever or a button or anything like that, so I have no idea how to open that. Let's keep going, I guess. Okay, just look at all those shelves down there. Looks like some of them are going to fall over, actually. They're tilting to the side. Oh yeah. What? Is it that? Is it? Yeah, it's the empty slot. I've got a book. Is that where the book goes? Right. A 
And that has something to do with the door? Something moved. Something happened. Alright. Uh, not, not the door as such, but we have a strange machine now. Okay. Wait, oh, hang on. Yeah, a broken handle. Yeah, it's been snapped off, it looks like. Uh, well, I guess I'd need to pull this up or down. And these are sort of cogs, but they don't look like cogs, I guess. Um, sure. Uh, put the spirit dagger there in one of the slots. Does that work? No? Broken key? Is there something I... Maybe there's something I've yet to find. Is there anything over here? Looks like a, a giant candle, but I can't have a look at that. We've got a stool. Yeah, you can sort of come to the foreground and go into the background a little bit. But I don't think we're going back there to the bookshelves. And there's nothing else to the left. Okay. What's that? Just the mark on the floor. That's all. Hmm. Right. Broken window. Can we... <laughs> I'm trying to reach, but I can't quite do it. Um, okay, well, yeah, hang on. Maybe I do need to leave and grab something and come back in here. Can we use the stool? No, we can't use the stool to stand on. Hmm. And the handle's the only thing we can use? Certainly seems to be. Okay, well, uh... We need to make a, a handle. Can we combine things? I don't know if... No. <laughs> Combining a key with a dagger, I don't really see how that works, but... Right. Oh. Take the tree branch. Yeah, can, yeah, just snap a little bit off. Is that a is that a handle? Maybe I have to sharpen it up with a dagger? Let's just try the branch. Maybe that can fit in the slot? It does? Okay, yep, there you go, there's the handle. Alright, okay. Yeah, that works. I mean, even with a broken handle, I'm pretty sure you can get a, a bit of a hold on it and just pull it, but... There you are. Alright, let's go upstairs. Yeah, this is alright so far. Certainly has a, a creepy vibe. I don't think it's a horror game as such, but uh, yeah, I quite like it. What do we got here? Oh, these are buttons, are they? Okay, well, it's probably some sort of combination. Let's not hit any more buttons. Don't want to get it wrong. Different statue, some sort of two-headed dog there. Not three, so it's not Cerberus. Is that some early rendition of Mickey Mouse, maybe? We can just keep going up? Okay. Can't seem to use that. Got a, um, got a door lock here. Oh, no, a former librarian! Bloody hell! Uh, what's this? Red lens. Thanks. Um, what happened to this librarian? Collapsed? So everyone but me is kind of dead or dying, it seems. Hmm. Is this the other side of the door that I tried to get through? I guess that would kind of make sense. Maybe it's not, though. Um, so what's this? Are we meant to look through the lens? Maybe we can see something through the lens, you know? Not really sure. Let's, let's go upstairs. Okay. A student. Is he asleep, or...? He's not sleeping, no. <laughs> What's this? Ah, oh, so- oh! Oh, I see, there's symbols underneath each of the fingers. Oh, and these are the symbols that are downstairs, possibly, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, just give me a sec. I'll just make a little note of these. Okay, so that's, uh... There you go, a little hook on the right. The middle finger. Sure, this one circle with a couple of dots and that one looked like a sort of triangle or pointer or something yeah okay all right there's scratching there but that's it nothing to do with the puzzle it looks like so yeah let's back away what else have we got more students more dead students another door maybe the way up to the next level oh ah oh, round socket maybe this is what the red lens is for or not do you want to try it, or do you just... No, you're just content shrugging. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, I've got the symbols, I guess, for the buttons downstairs, so let's try that. 
I think, I think they're the same symbols. So, if we're going from index finger to pinky, we want to start off with, well, this one here, actually. Okay, and then we want to move on to, uh, well, I suppose it's got to be that one. And then this, and then we finish off with the, uh, the lady in the ball, I guess. Sounds right. Okay. Is that good, or...? I guess not. Um... I don't think I actually got that wrong. Or maybe, it, well, I did hit this one to begin with, didn't I? Let's try that again, maybe... Yeah, maybe that was why. That's more like it, I think. All right. Ah. Oh, is that what's meant to go in that slot? That socket? <laughs> I, uh, uh, I've got a spirit dagger. Is that for the soul? <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, well, she seems to know what she's doing. I guess this happens all the time. Maybe this is why all the students and librarians keep dying. Anyway, yeah. Uh, We've not got the dagger anymore, but we do have an iron sphere. Let's take that upstairs. <laughs> there really is something wrong with the library, isn't there? So, yeah. Try the socket. Alright, it's a book. Our darkest times since... Oh shit, did... I didn't just... No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't die. What is this? Okay... <laughs> Stop shrugging. Go upstairs now, I suppose. Go on, then. Hmm. Alright. Where's that meant to be? A window? It looks like it's all out of sync. Got some more symbols here, though. Right, so are we using the same four symbols, maybe? Right, so we can change each of them. They're all different symbols, though. Are they all the same? Yeah, looks like it. You had a choice of four different ones. And yeah, that's it. Huh. Yeah, either they're really oddly shaped windows, or just parts are a bit out of sync. Same with the doorway. It's very odd. Hmm. Yeah. This is not quite right. What about... Uh, I can't have a look at the student anymore. He's long gone. Let's go downstairs. Maybe the symbols on the statues have changed. Uh, possibly? Wait, what if we use the lens? Can we have a look through that? Uh, it's hard to say. I... Hmm. No, I have no idea, to be honest. This is all very, very wrong, though. Let's just go down as far as we can. It looks like everything's changed. What's that? The broken window? Can we go outside? No, I st <laughs> still can't reach the branch to get out. Okay. The machine is really, really broken. It's like we've walked into a glitch or something, but it's a it's a glitch that was meant to happen. And that's it. Hmm. Okay. Got the candle here, yeah. Did the same thing with the other one. Do we use the key or the lens on the candle? Or we may maybe. Alright. Oh, the light's going through. Oh, that's one of the symbols. Hey, okay. All right, give me a sec. <laughs> Just going to note this down. All right, well, yeah, there was some more candles as well, so more symbols, I suppose. So, yep. Nice, that squiggly line with a couple of dots on either side. Um, yeah. Let's go to the next floor. Was there a candle up there as well? 
Yeah. Yeah, there was. On the right side of... Yeah, over here. That's it. That one right there. Okay, so red lens again. Ah, I think this former librarian was onto something. So we got like a goblet this time? Looks like it. Can't even try the door this time. What about... Yeah, what about the librarian here? Did... That's it. Okay. No clues or anything, but I think I know what I'm doing with it. Let's go up again. Weird old game, but I am enjoying it. It's a fairly simple puzzle game. But it looks really nice. There you go, there's another one. Okay, that's a... I don't know what you'd call that, really. Pogo stick down the middle, maybe? <laughs> uh, yep. Couple of dots either side. I mean, there was only four symbols to choose from, I guess. The other one, the last one is the other one, that, the one that looked a little bit like a brain. Yeah, like these two. And there you go, there's the candle. So let's just confirm that, I suppose. Cool, okay. Well, I've got all the symbols now, so let's put them in. Squiggly line, and then we want the goblet looking one, which I, well, I guess it's got to be that one, hasn't it? And then that one, and then the brain. Or not. Maybe it's reversed? Could be. Yeah, maybe this is the sort of basement, ground floor, second floor. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. So. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> it's a big library. Okay. Have we uh, have we returned to the normal dimension or are we still in the glitch dimension? What's going on here? I guess we're going up again. Wow. This is a huge, huge building. Uh, with a glass door, apparently. Alright, well, let's try the red lens. Or... Well, okay. <laughs> Maybe let's try and smash the glass? I don't know. Can't go any further to the left. Let's try right. What the fuck? Alrighty then. I wasn't aware that there were Dark Souls bosses here. Uh, oh, we got a key. A key that isn't broken. I guess I want that. Back later, I think. I think I just heard the sound of glass breaking. Let's try that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Into the corridor. What's this? Is that a bird? Oh, a trapped baby crow. Oh, right. So what? That giant one in there was the mother, maybe? Oh, I'm just carrying it. I see. Uh, well, well, let's let's take it back. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's why the big one's hanging around. Maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Get up with that beak. Right. Okay, that's that's one hell of a patch job we're going to have to do to uh, stop the snow getting in, but we do now have the library key. So... I guess it's got to be the double doors on floor number two, right? The one next to the former librarian? But I, I, I'm going to need to mess with that iron sphere again, I think, because we need to go back. Because I can't even manipulate the door now. Oh no. Oh, the statue's repaired as well. How the... <laughs> right! Well, that was it. Yeah, okay. You fixed all that in one night? <laughs> and I think despite the breathing, that thing might be dead. Is that how it ends? Yeah, I guess so. An interesting night's work, I suppose, for this librarian. In this strange, strange, somewhat magical town. 
Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what to make of it story-wise. It was all over the place, really, but the art looked really nice. I, um, yeah, I think it visually looked very appealing, sounded pretty great, and the puzzles were kind of fun. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you back in another video. <laughs> That's a pretty efficient way of getting dressed. Nice. A student? Is he asleep or...? He's not sleeping, no. <laughs> That's more like it, I think. Oh, she seems to know what she's doing. I guess this happens all the time.